Hey there guys, what's up? Ragto here, welcoming you back to Pokemon Legends of the Arena. Last time, we fought a bike gang. <laughs> we fought a bike gang and we were like the police. And we, uh, we got people arrested. And now, you think that girl across the way likes me? You think that guy across the way likes me? This is why you should just always talk to people and just be honest. You don't need a middleman. A Flareon and an Umbreon. Not really the best showing for poor Tesla here. <laughs> Jeez, poor Tesla. Got his butt kicked out of him last time. Worked so hard. Right, it's time for Garnet to take the stage. And let's go for Cro uh, Crocy Combat 2. A close combat onto this Umbreon. Sit down. Sit, Umbreon. Oh no. Oh dear, that's less than good. Oh dear. <laughs> so Flareon goes for last resort, interestingly enough. Oh, and the Dark Pulse. No! Oh, it hurts so much. Umbreon has terrible offenses, and that still hurts so much. Let's go for Aerial Ace, just to ensure that we uh, don't miss or anything. What? What? Is this Flareon the bulk? <laughs> Lava Plume! It's gonna get the burn. Oh, no, never mind. Every time that poor Garnet has been hit by a Lava Plume, it's always, always picked up the KO. Not the KO, the burn. And I just, I don't know how to feel about it. It's so sad. Poor, poor Garnet. I've become very aware, by the way. That was magical! I think I'm in love! Aw, oh, you two are so cute. Yeah, I got them hooked up. Aww. That's so sweet. I'll come back and battle against these guys a little later. Wait. Okay, I took the I took the wrong cycling road. That's entirely my bad. I know where I'm going now. Wait, no I don't. I'm on the different side of Route 18? Wait, hold on, I need to check my town map. I don't know where I am anymore. Town map. So, I want to be heading towards Salt Spray City. Okay, I am I am heading the right way. Jeez, I got so turned around. Right, let's check out this circus. Waha! Bilbo welcomes you to the land of fun and happiness! Oh, I didn't want to battle. I wanted to see a clown. Clown Bilbo. Alright, Bilbo. I'll play your game. I mean... Really, I'd be a lot less reluctant if you hadn't named yourself something stupid like Bilbo. But, uh, hey, you know, I'll play along. I personally would prefer a clown named Rainbow, but... You know, Bilbo, you... You go ahead and be a hobbit, Bilbo, you know? I, I didn't want to say it. I can't stand the hobbit movies, dude. I'm gonna, I'm gonna catch flack for that, I know. But they're bad movies. They're... They're not good cinema. <laughs> they really aren't. I love the original Lord of the Rings. I just, I can't stand the Hobbit movies. I think they're awful, awful, awful films. Yeah, we're gonna switch. And the fact that people so fanatically defended the decision to split them into three different movies, it blew my mind. Like, do, do not, do people not realize they're being taken for a cash grab? Oh, Perseus. I... I'm sitting here ranting about Lord of the Rings and The Hobbit, and poor Perseus can't hit a Megahorn because Perseus loves Lord of the Rings and was really excited for The Hobbit and saw the first one, and Perseus is really disappointed by it. Like, Perseus wanted to go and ask for its money back, but didn't really... He just couldn't bring himself to do it. So what is this place? Maggie's Traveling Circus. Fortune reading is inside. I didn't stick around to read the end of that, so... <laughs> Just... I, I, I do that. As a note to my future self who will be editing this, you did not mess up the audio sync. It was just me not reading that properly, so... Also, let's not have Tesla in the front. I don't think Garnet got any attention last episode. So, let's put Garnet up in the front. So, okay. God, My mouth is on fire! Well, maybe you shouldn't, you know, swallow fire then. Fire breather, Ned. <laughs> oh, jeez. Ned. 
You crack me up, Ned. I really need to get to a Pokemon Center. I probably should not be stopping at a traveling circus, but hey, that's what we're gonna do. Right, I didn't say what I had become self-conscious about. I have noticed that my S's whistle, and <laughs> the uh, the microphone does not like when my S's whistle at all. So I've had I had to install a deesser plugin into my Audacity. <laughs> Just to keep from annoying myself. I don't know if anyone who watches these was bothered before I uh, picked up that particular piece of editing software, but it drove me insane. So I hope the quality of life has improved for all viewers. I just noticed that I did it again. I, I hate myself. I hate myself for this. I wish my S's did not whistle. Torco! Torco! Man, Torkoal, you'd be cool if you evolved into something, or if you were somebody's evolution. <laughs> See, like, I think one of the only Pokemon I like that doesn't evolve or evolve from something is Heracross and Pinsir. Like, a Pokemon I think is so much more improved when it is that experience. You know, when you get to start out weak and then become amazing. Heracross is the obvious exception because it is always amazing. Forever. <laughs> and ever. That's the sound of him dying because his mouth is on fire. Alright, I guess you're gonna battle too? <laughs> how long can I keep juggling these balls? I don't know, buddy. How long can you keep juggling the balls? Forever? Juggler Machiavelli. Machiavelli? Machiavelli. Machiavelli? Machiavelli. He's got a Voltorb. I introduce you, my Voltorby friend, to Vesuvius. Careful now, it'll erupt all over you. Ew, now I've made it dirty. I'm sorry. <laughs> sorry, but not terribly sorry indeed. Sit down, Voltorb. Go roll away somewhere. That was worth no experience. Electrode, however, should be worth significantly more. Oh, you can shoot stars too? Where do you shoot them? Out of your face mouth? <laughs> Why am I so... So dumb? Why can't I be humorous and not be a moron at the same time? I mean, maybe I am and I'm just not aware of it. But, gosh dang, I feel... I knew it was gonna blow up. I absolutely knew it. It was just waiting for the right time. Ah, uh, but Vesuvius eats it up. <laughs> it went for the fire punch, but there was no target. That's kind of sad. That's actually really quite sad. Poor, poor Vesuvius. With the, you piece of crap. You pizza crap. I was really hoping for the burn there too. It's gonna, it's gonna get down into the red and it's not gonna faint again. And then it's gonna self-destruct again. Or not, it's just gonna faint. <laughs> That works. <gasps> Flamethrower! An actual not crabby move. Yeah. Let's forget Lava Plume in favor of Flamethrower. We got... We got... Flamethrower. Flamethrower. We got Flamethrower. It's really out of rhythm and I don't really much care. I'm really tired. <laughs> but, I really wanted to play Pokemon Legends of the Arena because... Last last night, I left the episode off. Oops. <laughs> Sorry, Vesuvius. I left the episode off. And then I went to sleep, and I was like, I want to play more. I, I, I want to keep going. I want to find more story. I want to keep... I want to get to the end of this game, or at least this demo. I'm like, I'm like so excited to see it. Like, I... I, I, I haven't gotten this into a Pokemon game since Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire came out. It's been like a year. Actually, saying that. But it's like, I, I've played a lot of fan games. I've played Pokemon Sage, and that was outstanding, but it was really short, really short demo. And where does this take us? I'm curious, but I also want to see what's in the fortune teller, and I need to go heal, and I want to get to Salisbury City this episode. So we're just, we're going to keep going. We're going to forget everything we can see, 
And we're just gonna go, but... Ah, jeez. First, let's heal. Got an antidote. Heal Norton. And then, uh, Limonade. And we'll give one to Perseus, too. I'm sorry, Vesuvius. I wish I had a revive. Alright, let's see about these fortunes. Would you like me to read your fortune, child? Sure, why not? Good, good. In your future, I see a great battle. Uh... A battle with me! <laughs> you lame... If I had paid for this, I would be so mad. Medium Maggie. Who do you think you are, Maggie? <laughs> Let's use Reflect Type on the Slowpoke. Uh, how much is a Swift gonna do? Just out of curiosity. Enough. It does enough. Goodbye, Slowpoke. I forget what I was saying before I came in here. I honestly do. I, I think I was talking about wanting to get to Salt Spray City. I think that was where my train of thought was leading me. So, yeah, I want to get to Salt Spray City this episode. We've been working up to this for, like... It, it feels like forever. And yeah, yeah, I was I was in bed, and I was like, I just, I want to play more. Like, Pokemon Sage was short, but really gripping. And Pokemon Uranium didn't really grip me, and then it, like, kicked my ass really hard. <laughs> so that was... That sucked. Uh, it wasn't a bad game, though. Just... I don't know. I think... I'm gonna adjust comfortably my chair. I think it was just... Very out of my element. Uh... I've played... I played a little bit of Pokemon Reborn. And... I, I want to get back into that as a Let's Play. At some point. Because playing it on my own didn't... No, be God Demon! Return! Return from what you came! Oh, be quiet, you mean old lady. <laughs> Thank you. Um, it like it it didn't kind of didn't feel right not playing it as a let's play because like it, it's kind of legendary Pokemon Reborn as you know. Hold on, I'm just gonna adjust. Ah, uh, there we go. Uh, X and uh, X and Y was okay. X and Y was a pretty good game. I had fun with it, but it wasn't my favorite game, not by any means. It had a lot of problems, and it very much had the problem that black and white kind of had where it introduced a lot of characters and I didn't really care about them like this game the I guess because the dialogue is a bit more mature but I, I've gotten more into how dialogue intensive this particular game is oh it's Mr. Pockets <sighs> what's up Mr. Pockets those damn chaps stop me from selling stuff on the road go cops not chaps those damn cops stop me from selling stuff on the road. I thought, like, I had been doing his accent all, all wrong all along. Something about uh, a license to sell? Well, they've been smoking. It's outrageous. Are you supposed to have a license? Well, yeah, but uh, that ain't the point. What is what is the point? Uh, Mr. Pockets forgets. What can I get you? A Thunderstone, a Poké Doll, an Enigma Berry, Heal Ball, Deep Sea Tooth. Nothing I really want here. It's an Aka Berry. Resist fire type moves. No. No, I'm, I'm good, Mr. Pockets. Thanks. Thanks, pal. Come back soon. I will, Mr. Pockets. I will. Oh, we're so close to Salt Spray City. Please, please let me into the city. Go away, Golduck. I'm coming, Salt Spray City. Oh, hello? I've been on guard duty for hours now, and I have to pee. See, like, it's, it's that kind of thing. That make, makes the game a little more endearing. <laughs> like, look at this. I'm proud to say that I'm making my city safer. You should consider joining up too. Like, look at these people. These, these people are pointless. But they, they still have a little personality to them. And a Pokemon, like, the main characters you're supposed to care about, they, they rarely have that kind of personality. It's like... I'm the Pokemon catcher, and I'm the nerd, I'm the dancer, I'm... I'm the lady who's not good yet. Ragtur, talk of the devil. This lawman's just been telling me of your brave exploits. Brave? Indeed. This civilian helped ensure we had a smooth, successful operation. 
Give that ragtar a smooth operation. Smooth. Smooth. I hear you. Stop saying smooth. This is very good news for our reputation, you know. The chief of police himself wants to thank you. Come on. Let's go see him. You know, I just got here and... Oh, okay, we're leaving. <laughs> see, that's what I mean. It's like having this protagonist who has, like, a bit of sass and is kind of, like, streetwise a little bit. You know, he's sarcastic and he's charming and I like him. Chief, it's a pleasure to meet you at last. Call me keys. If your condition allowed it, I'd... If my condition allowed it, I'd shake your hand. Oh, there's no need. Please sit. And you've got to be ragged her, right? That would be me, yes. Come on, kid, sit. So, they tell you about me? Not really. Why, is there something I should know? They didn't tell you about my condition. Typical. Get ready for story time, kid. Only you won't want to hear this before bedtime. It's kind of creepy because I am going to bed after I record this, so. Ten years. Ten years I've been on this job. I came here in pursuit of two ideals. Truth and justice. But this place, this city, it was a hellhole. Crime ran rampant on every street corner. Drug dealers, thieves, and murderers. My first J My first day on the job, I chased this perp into an alley. I thought I had him cornered. But his friends, they got the jump on me. Beat me to a pulp. They broke every bone in my body. Even my tibula. Didn't even know I had a tibula. The doctors told me I'd never walk again. Never move again. But that didn't stop me. I swore from then on to enforce justice on the streets of my city. To never rest until every criminal, thug, and junkie was behind bars. And now, I haven't left this desk in ten years. Oh my god. That's a commitment. Very admirable. <laughs> Damn straight. By the way, where did all the color go? Oh, sorry, but that sometimes happens when I tell that story. <laughs> See, it's so... <laughs> it breaks the fourth wall and it doesn't really care. It's just funny. It's charming and it knows it's charming. And I love it. Anyway. Listen, kid. You did good today. Those bikers were a pain in my ass. But we might need some more from you if you're willing. More? Yeah. There's still a lot of cleaning up to do. We're understaffed. Underfunded. We gotta take all the help we can get. If you got time, you wanna help us out? Well, I'm actually kinda bit not nonsense. The next round isn't for hours. Ragtar would be glad to help in any way he can. Right. Yes, I would. Thanks, Gabriel. Great. Tell you what. My boys are stuck doing paperwork right now, so I need someone on the streets. You go find me three criminals to arrest and we'll talk some more. Maybe I could even give you something for your troubles. Well, maybe I could- That's the spirit! Welcome to the police force, kid! Now get out of my desk- Now get out of here before I throw my desk at you. Please don't throw your desk at me, Mr. Man. That was, well, intense. Yep. Although, I'm sure you'd get cranky if you were stuck at your desk for ten years. <laughs> Indeed, uh, do I really have to go catch these criminals? Yes. Isn't that kind of dangerous? Ragtar, you're a professional Pokemon trainer. I think you can handle yourself. Uh, Gabriel, your confidence in me is astounding. Uh, sure, whatever. Let's make the professional our errand boy. I heard that. <laughs> I love this game so much. I'm looking into the case of the, uh... Well, I shouldn't tell you. But it's gonna make my career. He's investigating boobies. Don't mind Keys. He's just a grumpy because he has to pee in a bucket in a bucket. Mind you don't wander down a dark alleyway, you might get attacked. Oh boy. We're understaffed and overworked, but hey, what's new? Hey, am I right? This guy gets it. Welcome to Salt Bay City's Police Department. Okay. My nearest Pokemon kept coming into my house and peeing on the carpet. <laughs> I don't know why the police aren't doing anything to stop this. It's truly a national emergency. <laughs> I'm waiting for my dad to finish his shift. I'm so bored. <laughs> 
Pokemon peed on our carpet. Oh, Kecleon. Alright, Kecleon, now do a backflip. Don't think your Kecleon's gonna do a backflip, son. You, you're suspicious. Look both ways before crossing the road! Okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I will do that. Yes, okay. Finally, time to heal, get our PP back. <laughs> Revive poor Vesuvius. Don't tell the chief, but I'm taking an unscheduled coffee break. <sighs> this job can get you sometimes, you know, bud. I don't know why. I, I, I don't know. I guess yawning makes him sound lazy. Okay, so... At a glance, is there anything like... That guy is sleeping. No wonder, like, crime runs rampant. All the police officers are lazy. <laughs> the Media Center is the home of the Pokemon Cable News Network. My sister works there as a researcher. Very cool, very cool. Is there anything, like, on the streets I can actively be doing? Oh, look, the arena. Yes, sir? Is there a secure? Move along. I guess I would have to go where there's, like, no cops? Hmm. I might leave this. You look suspicious, friend. Ah, uh, there's a cop on every corner nowadays. How's an honest guy like me supposed to do business? Hey, this guy looks like a criminal. Can we arrest him? Police station, we catch bad guys. <laughs> I love it. Get lost, kid. This place is for classified personnel only. Why do I have a feeling I'm gonna lead like a police raid on that place? Two cops. I always preferred using the taser myself. Then you get to see him suffer. Wow! Oh my god! He was all like, I did nothing wrong, I did nothing wrong! So I beat him with my... Oh my god. I, I think I'm starting to notice that the problem here, it's not... Excuse me, it's not just that there are criminals, it's that the cops are corrupt as hell. They're lazy, corrupt, and incompetent. Mother of Pearl! It's like Gotham City in here! Well... If it's going to be Gotham City, then it's going to need a hero. I am the only one who can do it. Believe me, Alfred. This is the only way. This is my Batman. I don't know if that's any good. I'm just... You know what? Having embarrassed myself... I didn't want to friggin' do the, um... The, the, um... Christopher Nolan Batman, where it's like, Where is she? That, that one's such a, like, a, a laughing stock. I like the Kevin Conroy Batman from cartoons and video games, where it's just, Alfred, I need you to fi- I need you to wire into the police network. Get me all of the information you can. I'm going in. Like, that, that kind of Batman. He's awesome, and I love him. <laughs> but, anyway, I've embarrassed myself, so I think it's time to end the episode. If you guys have enjoyed, please leave a like and a comment down below telling me how much fun you've had. We're in Salisbury City. We're going to be policemen and stop the corrupt cops and stop criminals. And it's going to be fun. So, if you're looking forward to that, then I will see you next time. Thanks for watching, take care, and have a good one. Bye-bye!